and Deputy Foreign Minister, who is Roman Vesilenko. Sir, thank you. Thank you. Good you to very have much. you. Thank you. This saying that you have between the the, the dragon and the bear. Both of the, it could not be more difficult for you now with the war in Ukraine and increasing protectionism for China and the U.S. Well, Kazakhstan has uh, pursued what is known as a multi-vector foreign policy uh, <laughs> from the very beginning of its independence 30 years ago. And that means building positive relations with both Russia and China. And Kazakhstan being a huge country, but still it borders even larger countries which you rightly mentioned, Russia and China. OK, but the issue with Russia is you don't support the war in Ukraine. We support the UN Charter, we support the respect for the UN Charter, we support territorial integrity of all states, including Ukraine, and we've made this position clear to Russia. And when the President said at the St. Petersburg Forum, basically, we are not going to recognize your annexation of Donetsk and Luhansk and the other regions, that did not go down well in Moscow. Well, uh, we maintain positive relations with Russia, but these relations means that we have difference of opinions on matters of principle. And this is one such matter of principle where we have very different opinion. When you say that this, the fear and, is that Russia could turn its attention to you, to your country, and Russia could either destabilize or, God forbid, ultimately launch a military action. Is that a fear? That no, you... no, absolutely not, because we, as I said, have built these relations in a positive way for 30 years of our independence. We are members of the Eurasian Economic Union together. Uh, there are three million ethnic Russians in Kazakhstan who are Kazakhstan citizens. And we uh, maintain this positive relationship with Russia. And uh, we certainly, we signed the border treaty with Russia. We are delimiting this longest border in the world that you refer to. It's almost uh, demarcated by now. So there is no bone of contention. I guess the feeling is that the temperature is getting hot and that your policy of strategic neutrality becomes more difficult, especially if Russia uh, suffers more to, um, military losses. Well, we don't call it strategic neutrality because neutrality means a little bit of indifference. We are not indifferent to this conflict. We are not indifferent to what's going on in the world. We've been very actively pursuing a as I said, a multi-vector foreign policy, including by hosting such a, an event as today, the Astana International Forum, where we want to bring all uh, the attention of the world to the problems of the world and bring the middle powers together. You've been, what, you've been very active in terms of China as well, the, Silk, uh, the right. Belt and Road, right. the whole thing. Um, you're trying, I mean, China wants more from you. China wants to draw you into its uh, orbit and sphere of, of influence. Yeah. How difficult is it for you to resist that too? Well, you would recall the expression great game, of the, but we think this great game is in the past. We think that right now there can be a concept of a great gain for all, and the pie is big enough that everybody can be satisfied, meaning the outside partners can engage with Kazakhstan, with uh, being, be China or Russia or the West, which is our largest investor and trading partner. And it will all be nice, uh, however simplistic this may sound. The, this country is way more advanced in terms of transparency, democracy, than your neighbors around you. Uh, I don't necessarily expect you to agree with that, but the, the difference seems to be here, the president limiting his powers, single seven-year term. Um, you're, you're wanting to move more to a Western model. Well, we're wanting to strengthen democracy because our president indeed has a vision that uh, a more devolved power, a normal presidential republic that he is building, is what this country needs. I'm very grateful, sir. Thank, Thank you, you very much Thank you. Uh, Thank you, for Richard. joining us. It is Thank kind you. of you, Thank the you. Uh, Deputy Foreign Minister. And we were talking, of course, at the meetings uh, at the Astana Conference. Thank you, sir, Thank you, sir. very Thank much. You.